Welcome to Tasting Wine, All My Winies. It's that time. Today we're going to taste test Paradox, one of my favorite red wines. This wine is a limited edition, so we're actually lucky to get our hands on this. And it retails, um, I wanna say it was about $102. Um, and we bought this at Wine & More, one of our favorite places. So let's get right into those tasting notes. But before, if you'd be so obliged, you might wanna hit some of those buttons on your phone or on your TV screen, cause it would really help my channel out. Let's get right into this bottle. So according to the sensory profile notes, this wine is offering beautifully structured and complexity. This blend of Cab Franc, Zinfandel and Cabernet Sauvignon begin with aromas of sun-dried cherry and strawberry and plum and herbs de Provence. On the palate, it says excellent natural acidity and firm tannins add poise and dimension to vibrant flavors of raspberry and strawberry. Yum. So here you go. If you'd like to take a look at the wine, it's so beautifully colored and, oops. So the composition, here we go. The composition is 56% Cab Franc, 38% Zinfandel, and 6% Cabernet Sauvignon. Love all those three wines. The origin, Appalachian, Yauntville Valley, Sonoma County. The harvest dates is August 20th through October 15th. And the aging in oak is 18 months in oak, 95% French oak, 5% American oak, 60% new oak, and 40% second vintage. So here's something called production and technical data. I've never heard of this. So comment below if you have. The average sugar at harvest is 26 degrees bricks and alcohol is 14.9%. So what does bricks mean? Does anybody know? Please comment below. So let's go ahead and give this beautiful, well-structured, complex wine a taste. First, let's smell. Oh, super fruit forward. That's beautiful. Bouquet of just cherries, raspberries. I'm gonna smell a little bit of rhubarb in there. I smell like, like cherry blossoms, if they had an aroma, maybe some jasmine. So I guess it's a little florally to me. So it's very fruit forward and florally. 2014, let's give this a taste. Oh my God, that is dreamy. It's light going down, it's light, it's airy, it's oxygenated, it's, it's fruit forward, but without that punch of like sugar, it's florally. This is a beautifully aged 2014 wine. Paradox has knocked it out of the park again. I definitely recommend if you're ever in Napa, which I highly recommend, Napa is just a beautiful place to go, please try Paradox. We went during COVID and it was one of the few um, vineyards that allowed people to still come in because they had outdoor seating, nothing was indoors. So we were lucky enough to get the most beautiful, beautiful seat underneath a huge tree, shady tree. It was hot, but the tree was so shady and we had the most beautifully comfortable wicker, plush seats with a coffee table and we had all these wonderful little accoutrements um, included and it was just wonderful service and it was just picturesque it was one of the most picturesque seatings you could ever have in napa High, highly 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 recommend going to paradox winery and here's some history about paradox winery paradox takes its inspiration from the iconic blends of the world who puts our Napa Valley twist on it. Dan and Margaret Dacorn fell in love with the renegade winemaking style of Spain's Vega Sicilia and the Italian Super Tuscans. And so our story began in 1994. I'm Carter Scott Robinson, Paradox winemaker. Today, Napa Valley is synonymous with Cabernet Sauvignon. It's the backbone of most of our blends. We also experiment with other varietals like Sangiovese, Zinfandel, Malbec, Syrah, and Tempranillo. To me, blending is an intriguing experience. This is the time as a winemaker, I get to be creative. There are many pieces to blending. You're taking two, three, or four wines and putting them together to find the most complete and compelling wine. Paradox sources fruits from both the mountain and the valley floor. The mountain grapes provide 
powerful, intense berries. Valley Flora provides beautiful, bright, aromatic wines with silky smooth tannins. To me, the blend is a more complete wine. What one varietal lacks, the other one helps provide. Paradox wines are food-friendly, bold, and capture the nuance and the essence of Napa Valley. These wines are intriguing, nuanced, and will surprise you. Winemaking to me is ever-changing. You have to be adaptive. Every day is different. Thanks for watching this video. And once again, here's to tasting wine.